as you know like front end development is like constantly evolving are there any emerging trends that you see uh, in the technology and in the library side uh, that you think like in the coming years will like dominate the market and like how developers can prepare themselves for all the latest emerging trends yeah well to be honest with you i'm not sure i i have this very interesting technology that i started working recently on my personal projects but i'm not sure it's gonna dominate the, the market because uh, react is dominating dominating the, the market for quite some time and it has like big like company that stands behind it so i think it's gonna be um, a couple more years at least uh, on the top uh, but uh, the quick framework which i you know which i had the chance to work like a couple of weeks ago and uh, i still actually haven't finished that project yet so this is the the framework which was built from a previous i mean uh, x uh, angular x google developer who built angular uh, among others and basically what it does it removes the hydration from single page applications which means that uh, it doesn't matter how big your application is their bundle size is always one kilobyte around one kilobyte which basically brings your uh, speed of your website or application lightning fast so it instant like this uh and basically what they're doing doing they're just uh, uh downloading the code in the background for javascript and they're just executing at the time and you for example click on a button or, or maybe you do a scroll or whatever you're doing they're executing the code at, at this time when you're you know making an action so it's something that none of this framework is doing so you know we have seen a lot of frameworks and libraries that are just like different coding syntax you know in a in a nutshell but this is totally different approach and uh, uh for example if i were to build a website right now i would use uh quick for that because you know all the like performances and that you can test from for example google speed test are going to be on top out of the box so without any optimization they're going to be on top so it's for me it's crazy but i'm not sure it's gonna if it's gonna be like a next big thing because there's not a, like a big company behind it there's not like google amazon facebook who's like behind of this technology so because we, as we know these things matter yeah, yeah you're right but like yeah i also didn't knew about this but like uh it seems to be like very interesting because like uh i have also faced this like because when angular in angular like if you have like a big project like there's the build size is uh like 70 80 or like 200 mb 300 mb like it can increase and uh having like a very small like build size and then like application is like very fast like out of the box so that is like you don't have to actually like work on optimization so that is no, no. i mean with angular and react what, what people are trying to do is just to load the parts of the application that you need so you have like lazy loading route based loading you know modules so they're trying to reduce the bundle size but at the same time i mean it's still growing you know because you're using the services and those shared modules and it's still growing with quick it's always like it doesn't matter how much it grows because they're not downloading the whole thing they're just downloading the necessary thing i mean basically uh, it's like if if you have coded like in next.js or people who are who coded they know uh, there's server side rendering uh, frameworks and they start rendering on the server side and they inject all the necessary information inside of the html and i mean they're not just because all of these other frameworks are just duplicating the re-rendering on the client as well and they're not doing that because they're just injecting these weird uh attributes in the html they're using that information to or uh, to execute the right uh pieces of the javascript it's a little bit too complex i went into too much into detail but trust me maybe you're gonna hear about it in the in the future weeks months and the years who knows no no it is great because i will i'm also like interesting uh interested about this uh, new technology because like uh i used to like work in front end now it is as well like i sometimes i'm working with front end guys sometimes with back end guys so like uh, hearing about like this technology like that is like so quick it is like uh, always nice and because i thought like initially like if you if like performance and seo this is your concern then the next uh framework is the right choice because it do server side rendering then in seo it is also good like for beginners because the single page application like if you go on a particular route it is not a page but in google and all that like they need 
they consider the that particular route as a page so it does not have the right like title meta description the image and everything so in the these spas you sometimes like have problems like optimizing them for uh, like google and get like a good seo support so for that like next js is like a good option in angular i think angular universal but like having uh, like but these things are changing i i would say like uh, but I, in my recommendation like if seo is the main concern then react next uh, framework is like the best option yeah i agree yeah next js is probably i mean even like react uh, documentation their team is recommending to go with next js so it's basically react with server side rendering so why not yeah, yeah. 